welcome. Episode 6 viewers, Shark TV. I'm joined this evening by my very good mate and scribe, Carol Wine. Good evening, Carol Wine. Doff, I'm just doing the numbers to see if I made any money. Made any money. On what? Making my own banner last week. Just see if I've worked it out. Even got up in the morning just to see. A bit stressed. Made some muffins. Didn't know, didn't We're not talking about that flog Linden Way, are we? Yeah. Of course we are. How did the banner go? I just need oh, an update. Oh, oh, oh. update. Is there any truth of the rumour that, <laughs> yes. that it just sort of just... Do you know what happened? No. Tell from, me. from bottom up on the right hand pole. Yeah, just like that. He was actually yelling to his son. Yelling out to his son. Run, Riley. Run, Riley. Get through Jesus. the bad because of the crap that he made. It was rubbish. But he's apparently... He's I feel like Stephen Burns there for a moment. He saved a thruppany bit. He did. Yeah. Good on you, BF. Good, Good on you, Bob. As I said, welcome. Welcome aboard. Thanks, mate. She's about a couple of big weeks, hasn't it? Eight. Big baby's back. Eight. The big baby's back. back. Uh, two in a row. Two in a row. There we go. 36 points, sir. Uh, Over can, can I just ask you, um, if we replay the tape, which we haven't got time to do, but I I think you predicted would be Oak Park by... 40. The actual result? 36. You six big ones. Well done. I did say we'd beat West by 10 goals. <laughs> yes. It was close enough. No. <laughs> well, actually, it was my call. call. Two points. Two points. Oh, Two points. Right. Two points. But Oak Park. Oak Park at Oak Park. A bit of history was made there. Never beaten Oak Park at Oak Park, JP Faulkner. And, as a bonus, all three. All three, yes. Park. Big day. Big day at the office. Uh, I'll tell you what, it was a big day at Oak Park, too. Big day at the office, office, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Massive day. I went and got a hot dog there at half time, and um, all the windows were blanked out, and there were male strippers going off their face. Do you reckon there was a bit of bachelor party going on? A bit of Nick. I reckon there was. Nick with that, that hot dog tray. <laughs> uh, that was it. He just got snorted. <laughs> Straight up the nose. Boom. Gold. Good day, wasn't it? Good. Huge. Right. 18's won, 143 to 51. Seconds won, 98 to 48. And the ones got up, 111 to 75. Big day, Oak Park. Next. 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 Well, we had a little bit of a spell, and we ventured through. Should have me pen. Sorry, Dan. Oh, did you? Tell the director. Oh, jeez. Oh. Hey, have a guess who else has joined us? Hello, Troy. Hello, Troy Stone. How How's is he? Going? He's uh, going good. He's going just good. Just growing your hair. Just got a couple of questions about the set this week. Yes. Or we'll ask. Geordie, where is he? Well, he's MIA. Is he playing down the back? Is he? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone down the back. Sorry, Mum. You're not worthy. Not worthy. There you go. It's the best we're going to get, Geordie. Back, Geordie. Best we're gonna get. We've seen we've seen him back. We'll, we'll we'll get around to a little bit of that story later. Postman Pat, you've got a week, son. Where you going straight under the pink bars? Get it back. Get it off, Sandy. Make sure she's not wearing it. <laughs> I know she will be. She'd be lying. Oh, she'd be lying. Right on. Um, this week, West. At home. At home. Have a go. Massive game. Massive, massive, massive game. game. My old ticket was pumping right out oh, the chest, Tony. At up last nine though, on Saturday morning, I ventured up there walking the hound around. Yep. Had a bit of a look see. Under 18s, we weren't tracking all that flash in the first quarter. And I ventured on David, David Gow and a bit of a shade, you know, before we... David Gow, what is, what's that? I, will, I wouldn't ask any of their players because no. they wouldn't know what that is. No. Um, but anyway, the boys weren't tracking too good at uh, quarter time, but then when I left, they just pulled the show out and went bang. Yep. Yeah, ran the outside, ran the outside. 16 15, 111 to 39 27. Just clipped them. Just clipped Westy them. beat them last time out, Westy. Bit of a point. A bit of one on. Tell you what, right, just, just, a, just a little word of uh, notice out there there's a, a little bloke, Jay Chirkov, Geordie Chirkov. Oh, for. Does he go good? Actually, big Oscar Brown played his 150th, I think. I believe he did. Yeah, hey, good on you, Oscar. Oscar. Wonderful effort, well done, Charlie. Fair spray you gave him a quarter time too, young man. Very nice. Who, who got the goals on the weekend, we know? Oh, I don't know. I have to go to the... Uh, have a quick squeeze while we do that. Computer. While you're looking at that, I'll give you the two score. Please do. We, got a, uh, we lost, went down. Yeah. Inaccurate kicking, yeah. It cost us 6 15 51, yeah. 9 4 58. Good, hard four game. A couple of send offs, which were pretty embarrassing for both teams, I think. Yeah, especially Not the both of them. Westy. Apparently, he's good head, but. <laughs> he gave great head. Two weeks. Yeah. 
She's one really good, wasn't it? Oh, no, I wasn't a good at all. Not real smart head button of Rocky. Go Balboa. Ahead. Nah, come on. Oh, come on. Hey Rocky, don't tell blokes that you got sore ribs, yeah. mate, because he's going to go BANG! <laughs> use, your, use your trams and trains, <laughs> son. Jesus Christ, Back to the 18s. Uh, Give us. Yes, uh, the dock. The dock. The dock just racks them up, doesn't it? it is it um, the truth of the rumour he kicked the Geordie Sinclair? Yeah, it is the truth of that rumour. Yeah. And rumour is fact. Rumour is fact. That's what we do on this show. We don't muck around with us. Miffo kicked three. Uh, the Didge. The Didge. Ridgey Didge got two. Not bad. Emily O'Clark, he got seven. Yeah. Yeah, that's You can kick them. That's where they are, the boy. Uh, my boy, Joey Chirkop, he kicked two. Brownie kicked uh, one, and the skipper, and Zaka Macca. Zaka, Jacker and Macca, they're all vegetables. Zaka, there. Jacker, Macca, and the best players, probably the only bloke that's ever tubbed in the 18s. Mr. Careless. Yes. Yeah, only bloke that tubs. Yeah. And he, he, cares, he, he cares more for his bloody hygiene, Ooh. doesn't he? Well done, mate. Even Excellent. though you had the tradies on, doesn't matter. We'll, still, we'll wrap you up. You don't go in the tub. Absolutely. Seniors. Seniors. Westy. Wow, we. Wow, wow. 7 13 55. Just got up, yeah. 7 11 53. Mm. Second quarter nearly cost us. Oh, bloody didn't hell. Hit well, the we six points. Six points. Didn't get one through the big sticks. All the first mm. we like to call them in, the Troy Stones. Mm. Didn't get them through there. But had six shots. Got up probably last couple of minutes. Snuck one through. Dead set. Never been under so much pressure in my life. The cocker. He, he threw the teddy at the Prem twice, three, four times. Who knows? Uh, Test just sat there like a stun. Mullet, um, and that was about it. But our boys didn't play all that well, as you all would have seen. But we still managed to get the chockies. Actually, it's a young year, three quarter time. This is the, the, you got to win the ugly ones. And I think for the first time in the last few years, we actually won an ugly one. Yeah, that's right. We had a one from last year. They knocked us off by a couple of points up at home. Yeah, last that's game. right. Catania's last game. That's right. But oh well. But how funny how does it happen there, Carol Warren, that um, you win? And you fall out of the four and go to fifth. I can't work that out. Let me just run the numbers here. With like that pencil handed account, that one, eh? Couldn't <laughs> even work it out with a pencil. <laughs> Did you like that one, Harry? Um, uh, Oak Park and us are on 32 points. Uh, Oak Park are 116.57 and we're 112.3. There's nothing in it. A couple of big games this week, though, right? So, who does Oak Park play? I think they play Tuller. They correct, you do. They play Tuller. So, hopefully, well, hopefully. Doesn't matter who wins. Mm. Hopefully we get enough percentage. We've got Hadfield, who we've got to make amends against Hadfield. No, well, they, they touched us up last time, so we need to make amends. They did. So we'll have to come out nice and strong. Absolutely. And right, that's the Good. Awards? Awards. Where are we going with first? Let's roll the video tape. First ever. Shark TV Player of the Day. Award. Prairie Woody by 24 hour towing. 0423717123. This week went to. Jackson, Jackson Volpato. Hmm. Jackson Volpato, as as they pronounce his name on EDFL TV. Jackson Volpato. Hmm. Did you also hear the um the one that ran with the one they ran with was Nathan Pellerberg. Nathan Pellerberg. He was unfortunate this week, he didn't play this week. Um did he cramp up? No, he, he's missed it. She, he went into labour we thought labour. Well, I don't know don't know if you heard the news. She's seven seven weeks early. Well that's no good. But I don't think they had the baby. No. Just cramps. Just cramps. Well, if cramps are anything to go by, Peter Max has had an entire Brady Bunch. Because he cramps up every week. <laughs> Fair to Max. He wouldn't play. Have a crack. Every week. I think he's getting cramps confused with an erection. Oh, yeah. yeah just, I, 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 I can't move a muscle. <laughs> Jeez, it's perhaps you're only needing some. <laughs> Very All good. All men like us get cramps. We don't run anymore. No. Right, right. Um, Next award. In, in the tub. In the tub? In the tub. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So just just in between that, hopefully Joe's just thrown the video in of us interviewing on set. Yes, on oh, location. On location, because we travel a bit yeah. uh, with this show, <laughs> as you do know, viewers. <laughs> well, we actually interviewed Jackson Volpato. So what well up, Jacko? What well up, Jacko? And there was a little guest appearance right at the end. Hope you caught that too, viewers. Welcome to Shark TV. We are here with the great Jackson Volpato after a massive win today. By how many points, Caroline? Media Street, Jacko. Two Media points! Street. We won by two points! And this is our the inaugural winner structures of the... Inside our four walls. What is it? Shark TV, player of the day. Player of the day. Player of the day. Player of the day. <laughs> inaugural winner. First! First! First winner. And we won by two points against Whiskey! Right, Jacko. Congratulations, Jacko. Tell me, mate. I don't know me and Molly were having a heart attack. Fucking, I think we were running to get a pie. What was it like out there? Pressure? Yeah, it was a pretty, uh, pretty intense game, but I think it was a good 
you feel like you're a bit embarrassed now, aren't you? Yeah. 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 When you're standing in between two rock stars like this, I'd be embarrassed too. Yeah. Jacko, all the best. Oh, oh, Go oh, Sharks! Oh. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Tub, Joe, drop the photo in if you wouldn't mind, please, my friend. You're all alone with this one. All alone with this one, champ. I don't think we need to say anymore. No. I think the photo says it all. Picture tells a thousand words. Yep. Yep, I said, put Mo in the bus. In the, in the tub. And yeah. I said, I don't have anywhere near Mo. Just kick the shies and out of me. Oh, no, I'd have a crack at him if he wasn't chiseled. If he was asleep, maybe. Bus. Bus. Let's go, bus. So let's, let's, uh, just want to know. Is that the postman? Just want to know. Is the uh, Red, Red, Red Bull pit crew, have they fixed their wheel yet? <laughs> For God's sake. Kick it in the guts, Dan Ricardo. Kick so, it in the guts. Just want to just want to reminisce a bit and have a bit of a reenactment here of, of Saturday about Blaze Ferraro breaking the record. So let's 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 run a bit of it, you know. Blaze Ferraro, about 150. Oh, who are you trying to be? I'm trying to be Bert. Oh, Matt Bert. <laughs> no. Blaze, I've got, got enough for scripted. I've got nothing. Yeah, scripted. I've got nothing. Fair. Let's get a minute ago. Oh, so let's put our hands together for Blaze. You be Blaze. Blaze. You don't clap yourself. You clap yourself, you flog. You're fair dinkum. Please. You fucking clap yourself. <laughs> I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Hey, this is not a bad show, is it? All of us, yeah. Oh, oh. That's worthy. Not you. Jesus. And he, I reckon he said under his breath, oh, you clap for me or you less a lot. Yeah, That's yeah, what he's like. Yeah. I use a disabled toilet and I... Get in that bus, yeah. Ferrari. I share up Again, everyone else. He's taken up so much room in that bus. He's in there about 25 mm -hmm. times. Next one. Next one. This is yours. Yes. Detesia. Assistant coach. John, you know what this is for? I can't believe it. I made the move and put Ross Wakeman forward against Oak Park. And what's going on here? Are you serious? Okay, I've got a new one. Who am I? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Dean, I made the move. I pushed Wakeman forward and I put Sinclair back. Wakeman kicks two. Bloody, my man here, Joey, our man here, Geordie Sinclair, tore their set half forward a new one. Don't ever try and take credit. We run this show here, not you. Get under that bus. I like it. Good. I Can like you give me my glasses back so I can't see anymore? Thanks very much. Good see you with it on. What else we got? That's it. So, what I would like to know though, mm -hmm. it's good to see on the weekend, mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Ryan Dixon from the Under 12s, he was in there, give us a bit of feedback here in the, in the box with him. Yeah. How'd it go? Oh, well, Ryan didn't do anything. He just stood there and just, uh, and just observed, just observed. all the information in. Yeah. yeah. He learned one thing. That Stephen Byrne swears a hell of a lot. Is that the only thing you learned? And the other thing you learned was that oh. Dean Tessier's diet of duck and fruit does nothing for his um his uh wind. No, that's so. There's two positives that Ryan's taken out of the game. Thanks Good on you, Ryan. Good on you, Ryan. Hope you enjoyed your day. Excellent. Right on. Cat's head. Cool. You're <laughs> gonna rename the cat's head to the steel nose. <laughs> Tell us about that lord. That poor, poor bloke. <laughs> he couldn't go to work Monday. Oh, what happened? He had to call him dead. <laughs> He's done everything but nail him to the cross. Funny you say that. I drove past the ground on Sunday afternoon and there was a backhoe out there. I think they were trying to exhume him out of the middle wicket. Well, apparently there was a resurrection and Max was still there with cramps. <laughs> <laughs> What's going oh, on? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Here we go. Right. So that's it. That's all the awards. We're, we're pretty, pretty quiet. <laughs> Any chance you'll read this? No, no, no. Any chance that dog might start, stop barking in the background? Yeah, try it. You can sit on that. <laughs> Use them as cricket pads. Next week, Hadfield at home, and it's a danger game. Because as we said before, they clipped us last time. Didn't they? 72 points. Holy maloney! 72 points. I'm going to have a link. Oh, yeah? Right, eh? Oh, I'm going to run with 47. 47? So, Rick Owens was old number of Enough to make a comment. Absolutely. So, you reckon 40, uh, you reckon anything? 72. I'll go 47, right on. Eh? Well, we've got to win, like, we've just got to keep winning. Yeah, that's all we have to do. And, and tell them might just do us a little favour. Tell them? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, here's hoping. So we've got two, we've got the next, next few weeks. We've got Hatfield home, Tuller away. Yes. All the Saints at home. Yes. Glenroy away. Yes. Bye. Yes. Right on. So we just have to keep winning. We've just got to keep winning. Yeah, we're going to give us the best right. option. I reckon they've, they've had enough of us. Probably Curls. Not. Surfwear at Camperdown, one of our major sponsors, and to you little brats who knocked her off the other day, the bloody they knocked off the bloody jerseys on there. Oh, they just tied it up. Tied it right up there. They took some the clothing. <laughs> okay, Des and Troy, we're coming after you. Yeah. Understand? Oh, muscles. 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 Oh. 
Why do you wish 300k's away? <laughs> um, of course we've got NVU Fitness and uh, oh, sorry Troy, clearly you still haven't been down to see Scotty at NVU. No, clearly um, you've got these out of your soft bits on table. Yes, I did. Poise urine liners. Get on them. Get on them. New sponsor. Because they're just throwing themselves at us like women do in the streets. Who is it this way? Hillside Nine. The Hillside great Andy Bastis. Doesn't kick a, cook a bad spit now that that meat, that bloody meat. Doesn't want a good spit roast, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, Andy Bastis. Allegedly. Allegedly, but rumour. Rumour is fact, yeah. Does he, is, 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 does he match carpet with curtains when he's out mowing? Caroline, we're going to keep this thing above the uh, line. What line's that? Well, we don't have one. Okay. Done. Until, until next week. So your news be good news. And good night.